Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at some other weapons from this season. These are probably going to be Season of the Hunt weapons. And there's two that are from the Season Pass. I say that because these we don't know how to get these weapons yet. And I'm like, I'm like 98% sure that these are actually from Season of the Hunt. So if they're not, then I'll probably change the, the name of it. But essentially, I'm really excited for some of these weapons. Mostly because... They look like a lot of fun. I like their art style. They look cool. And I just, I'm excited for new weapons because we only got like fucking 40 or something in this DLC. Even though we lost like, I don't even know how many, how much we lost. But I'll probably make a video about explaining my thoughts on that because I think it's a, a little unfair for us to really attack Bungie for that. But we'll, I'll make that video when I make that video. So it's like the first weapon. It is a kinetic submachine gun, friction fire, that's what it's, what it's named. It's a precision frame, so I immediately am already kind of disappointed, but let's see what it has to offer. Killing wind, subsistence, threat detector, auto-loading holster, zen moment, and field prep for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be unrelenting, sympathetic arsenal, slideways, wellspring, Purple weapon and rampage so like the last videos i'm gonna have the new perks up so that people can get like get acquainted with them but if you really want to know my opinion killing win rampage for everything doesn't matter what i'm doing that's probably what i'm gonna be rolling with mostly because i don't like subsistence i know they got a buff it's just that me personally i just still see that subsistence is that bad Especially on a weapon that has base value of 26 rounds in the fucking magazine. I don't see the value in that But if you really want to know Yeah, killing wind for me killing wind is great overall rampage would be the best one to do it with uh, For PvE for PvP. I would probably say Huh Threat detector and Zen moment if you're a controller player auto loading holster wouldn't be a bad idea maybe field prep maybe although if you want that faster reload slow and ready you have to be crouching so just be aware of that uh subsistence like i said i don't find any value in that and then for the second row i sympathetic arsenal i can see people telling me slideways would probably be an interesting one wellspring would be also an interesting one but honestly wellspring like honestly rampage and killing win for me is just going to be the play to go for uh, subsistence and rampage could also be a good thing for a lot of other people here personally I just see more value in killing wind so that would be pretty much it I like the model of it don't get me wrong it's just I feel like for a, for a SMG 26 like rounds is just too low especially in PvP where like to get like two or three kills you're not gonna get it from 26 rounds in the magazine I just I yeah I just don't like it so friction fire personally I love the weapon it's an SMG I have I like I love SMGs but I would most likely run killing wind and rampage with a magazine buff on it because that shit is 26 rounds I hate that already if you guys don't know I like I like SMGs that are like around 40 to like 30 something 36 so 36 and higher is pro like where I I think are like healthy for SMGs to be at. So 26 is already like, I don't like you already. This reminds me of the weapon from Season of the Worthy. I forget its name because I hate that SMG, but it literally reminds me of that. So the next weapon is gonna be Deafening Whisper. This is an energy grenade launcher and it is a second wave frame that we got. I'm excited for this because of that reason alone. Unfortunately, it's probably not better than our first wave, which are, it's probably not better than our first wave frame, which is Marty's Retribution, or Martyr's Retribution. So let's look at the perks real quick. Killing Wind, Underdog, Lead from Gold, Moving Target, Ambitious Assassin, and Surplus. For the second row, it's gonna be Ambitious Assassin, or I'm sorry, Rampage, Threat Detector, Wellspring, Unrelenting, Snapshot Sights, and Auto Loading Holster. So, personally i'd probably use surplus with wellspring i really like lead from gold for special weapons but i would probably not use it here mostly because i like to pair lead from gold with like demolitionish or something especially for this weapon specifically but i could probably see lead from gold with or yeah lead from gold with loading auto loading holster would probably be really good 
I think it's just the fact that this weapon doesn't have demolitionists where I'm just kind of like, damn, that kind of fucking sucks, but whatever. It's still good. Uh, I'm excited for it, no doubt. It's just, I really, I'm really, I just want to see this weapon already is pretty much what I'm thinking about. Having Rampage on it is interesting though. So I will, I would like to get like Killing Wind with Rampage and whatnot. Is this going to be the next mountain, mountain top? Probably not, but it is going to be the next Marty because we don't, we're not, Marty, we're losing Marty next season, I think. So yeah, get this weapon if you want to replace your Marty. If you want to ask for regular PVE, Killing Wind and Rampage would probably be interesting. Uh, Left from Gold and Auto Loading Holster would be really cool. And then obviously Surplus with Wellspring would be awesome as well. For PVP, Killing Wind and Rampage, for sure, hands down. Like, you can't change my mind. Maybe Killing Wind and Auto Loading Holster would be better, mostly because you uh, stole your weapon get some kills with your primary and then come back when it's reloaded i can see that as well and then surplus and wellspring's amazing as well for high-end pvp literally or high-end pve literally everything i just said like literally this weapon's good so royal chase it's a energy scout rifle it's in the precision frame and this is the season pass weapon so let's look at the weapons we got or the perks that we got fully auto trigger system no distractions field prep grave robber auto loading holster and slideways for the first row for the second row it's going to be multi-kill clip dragonfly thrash quick draw and threat de ugh, threat detector so i put a lot of value on fully auto trigger system because i'm lazy <laughs> but if you were to ask me like what would be viable i would probably tell you Field prep with multi or dragonfly would be really good for PvP or PVE. For PvP, I I would go for fully auto trigger system with Thresh to be quite honest, or fully auto trigger system with dragonfly is also a good one. Uh, for high end PVE, I would say maybe field prep and multi kill clip or Thresh. Yeah. I do like this weapon. It feels really nice. Uh, I love how it shoots. It feels like the gun itself feels dope. Uh, I just can't wait to get other perks with it, honestly. So next weapon we're going to be looking at is Blast Batu. I don't know how to say that, and I'm not going to even try to say it again. It's a power grenade launcher, and it's an adaptive frame. Unfortunately, you do not get the one grenade perk at the end of the perks. You'll see what I'm talking about once I go through the perks. So clown cartridge killing wind pulse monitor threat detector moving target quick draw for the first row for the second row it's gonna be rampage disruption break snapshot sights chain reaction auto loading holster and wellspring so first things first we do got a new perk we do got a new perk oh my god what the fuck is wrong with me? we have a new perk straight chain reaction each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion so I'm gonna have that right next to it so that you guys can read it. Uh, but that's really cool. I like that a lot. You can obviously combine this with spike grenades and clown cartridge maybe. Uh, it's unfortunate that we didn't even get like the main bread and butter that these grenades usually have. I'll have the combination in the screen because they're escaping my mind right now. But yeah, you can still plop up spike grenades with clown cartridge. I'd probably go killing wind with chain reaction especially if chain reaction is viable or fun to see at least but chain re uh chain reaction if it's not that great then wellspring or rampage honestly this is most likely not going to be a boss killer but i could be wrong and hopefully i am wrong so yeah that would pretty much be it for this one i don't see anything else that i would go for so the last weapon is going to be Corsair's Wrath, which is a linear fusion rifle, a precision frame, and it is a powerful linear fusion rifle, obviously. And the perks are kind of interesting, a little weird, but interesting. So for the first row, it's going to be firmly planted, killing wind, pulse monitor, moving target, no distractions, and outlaw for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be quick draw, unrelenting, demolitionist, thresh, kill clip, and high impact reserves. So. For PvE, I wouldn't, I can't even say that. I do use Linear Fusion Rifles from time to time. For PvE, I would use maybe Outlaw. No, Killing Wind. Either Outlaw or Killing Wind, I would use. For the second row, it would most likely be, honestly, High Impact Reserves or Kill Clip. Uh, Thresh is an interesting choice. And then Demolition is would be also an interesting choice. I just, I don't know which one I would choose for, for like regular PvE. 
For PvP though, I would most likely be doing like Killing Wind and High Impact Reserves. Maybe High Impact Reserves only because like, do you really need that extra damage? Maybe. Cause I don't know if Linear Fusion Rifles do like, are a one hit kill to the body or is it like, I don't think they are. If they aren't and the High Impact Reserves can get, to, get you to that part, then no brainer. If not, then probably Thresh or Demolition is most likely Thresh, maybe. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns in the comments, obviously. I want to love Friction Fire only because it's, a, it's an SMG, but the perks don't get me really excited all too much aside from Killing Wind and Rampage. But the magazine also just makes me sad. Uh, Deafening Whisperer makes me excited and I am actually excited for it. Royal Chase, I actually do like using this. It feels snappy, it feels nice, and I love how it sounds. So for me, I probably will use Royal Chase a lot. Blast but two, uh, I like whatever's on this one actually, like quite honestly. Like I would love to get the spike grenades and clown cartridge and either thresh or rampage uh, uh, roll, but I, I probably won't worry about it if I don't get it. And Corsair's Wrath is one that I'm just kind of like really interested in like, like, okay, like, I don't know, man, it's really weird. These weapons are really weird to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments concerned. Let me know, oh my God. Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below. I personally don't know if I like these weapons or not. Hopefully we get a little bit more because I don't think these are like amazingly great. I just think like one is good and then like the other ones are like, okay, at best. So yeah, uh, be safe guys, no tapping in the world and I will see you guys later.